All right, guys. Well, I just got out to the spot. About to go check it out. Let's see what the water looks like. Well, as you can see, looks pretty damn dirty. Not a lot of floating weeds. There's some junk out there, but... Well, never know unless you give it a try. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to be starting off with a Boss Rider by Restless Rider Tackle. Just a rubber bait that's made locally here in Windsor. We're going to give it a shot and see what happens. well conditions aren't looking very promising it's pouring rain now water's very very dirty there's a couple boats out there trolling there's one right there and uh yeah i don't know might stick it out for a little bit might just sit in here see if this rain slows down for a sec but i guess we'll see what happens stay tuned Thank you. 
Well, musky fishing was kind of slow, so decided to pick up a jigging rod and didn't take very long. Nice little walleye here. Right on. Just got it on a little joker right there. Well, I'll take a little bonus fish anytime. Right, guys I've been out grinding it all day been trying for some musky and probably seen every different condition there has to be today I came here it was pouring rain then the clouds kind of stopped it stopped raining Sun came out wind switched and uh, we're just coming up on what was the moonrise moonset. moonset so we were just kept casting and uh, I just had a fish hit me on a bulldog, shallow, regular size bulldog right here. But uh, it's kind of worst case scenario. She ate the bait very deep. So I'm letting her sit in the net revive. She's been in there for a couple minutes now. And uh, I'm gonna pull her out real quick. I'm not gonna bother with a measurement. Just gonna give you guys a quick peek at this fish. And then we're gonna send her back off. Hopefully she swims off strong, but uh, she did take the bait kind of deep, so I had to use the Nipex cutters, cut the hooks real quick, try to do the least amount of damage, but uh, I'll give you guys a look at this fish real quick, and then we're gonna set her free. All right. Here we go guys. This is what you grind all day to for. Nice Lake St. Clair musky. Big old jaw on her. This fish probably 44, 45 inches. Really healthy fish. I'm not gonna keep her out long. She fought hard, jumped about four times. Gonna grab her here. Nice, beautiful fish, guys. It's important not to take the fish and drag it back and forth. You just kind of turn her on her side, and when she starts getting ready to kick. She'll let you know she'll start tensing up. So you just kind of hold her here, hold her upright.
Right on. guys well that was a grinder of a day i fished pretty much about five six hours when i first got out there wasn't raining got the fish for about 20 minutes then started pouring pretty good put on my rain gear fish for a while not any action at all whatsoever didn't see any fish surface didn't get a bite no one else hooked up it was a pretty slow day but anyways i stuck it out Took a little break, tried for some walleye, got a nice two and a half pounder. And uh, yeah, right in the last half hour of the day, ended up hooking into that nice fish. It was probably about 44, 45 inches. And uh, I didn't measure, I didn't want to stress the fish too much. She fought hard. Thing went airborne four times. I wish I got it on video. But uh, anyways, guys, if you're liking the videos, you like the content, please, Feel free to like and subscribe, and uh, I'll be posting more stuff coming up soon. There's going to be lots of big walleye and big muskies this fall. So keep watching, and I'll see you guys out there. All right, guys. Take it easy.